Combo decks are dead. <laughs> Ever since this thing came out, combo decks are dead, huh? Oh, Sam, Nibiru wants to see your location. Dark Ruler No More wants to see your location. In this video, I'm gonna prove to you guys that combo decks are not dead, okay? Nibiru is good. Dark Ruler No More is good. But listen, people need to know how to adapt. That's it. Players that think combo decks are dead are the exact same players that played Goki in Goki format that ended on Firewall Pass. Players that think that combo decks are dead thinks MST still in the gates. People that think that combo decks are dead are the people that sleep with socks on that night. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm done, I'm done. For those of you who are here on the channel for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Consider on hitting the subscribe button. Make sure you guys turn on your notification button to get notified on each time I upload videos like this. That'll be absolutely amazing. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys go down there right now and smash that thumbs up button. And if you guys wanna help support the channel, make sure you guys get the brand new TX1 God Amongst Us playmat today in the link in the description box below at TX1.com. This week is the last week to use the code TX10 to get 10% off your entire order. So make sure you guys get your playmat today in the link in the description box below. That'll be absolutely amazing. All right, guys, enough talk. Without further ado, let's hop right onto Y Drill Pro. You guys all know Paper Gang. Paper all the way. All right, guys, get it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Wait, I'm going first? I'm going first. This guy forced me to go first, even though he won the rock, paper, scissors. You guys all know what this means, right? It's it's probably some sort of goal second hand trap, heavy dot deck, or Nibiru dot deck, dimensional shifter dot deck. And let me tell you guys right now, combo decks are not dead, bro. Combo decks are not dead. A lot of people have a misconception that combo decks are dead, but in reality, combo decks are not dead. You just have to play in different ways to actually dodge around and play around those hand traps. So he's an ash, and that's okay because our hand is actually built to beat multiple hand traps. Like Oberaptor alone is already full combo. If you guys haven't seen my deck profile yet, I recommend you guys checking out my deck profile. Hit the link in the description box below. The only difference that I had with this deck and the deck profile is that I decided to cut out Draconet and put in the Oberaptor because Oberaptor just has uh, more use in this deck because it's level four and level four with quick launch is pretty much Ib. And once you get axed to Ib, you have three red eyes flare metal dragon with this specific version that I'm showcase you guys right now on YG on Pro. So make our unbreakable board and let's see if our opponent can actually break this board while they chose to go second. Once the Ip Synchro Summon, she's gonna be able to get a search of World Legacy Guard Dragon directly from the deck to her hand. We're gonna activate World Legacy Guard Dragon. We're gonna special summon Flamwell Guard to our side of the field. So you guys all know the basic uh, Dragon Link stuff. So we're gonna make into our Lambda. Obviously, it was gonna activate her effect. Let's see. So we played through one Ash so far. He Ashed the Dragon Shrine. So we're gonna link away World Child's Guard Dragon into our LP. All right, and then we are gonna special him Crusadio Draco to our side of the field because we have it in our opening hand. We are gonna link away Draco into the Pisty. Okay, cool. Activate LP's effect. Special summon, of course, Black Metal Dragon directly from the deck. This is why I love this Red Eyes deck so much because of how crazy the combos in this deck are. And let, and let me be completely honest with you guys, this deck is actually very fun to play. Like, seeing Red Eyes in your deck is just absolutely nostalgic. And it's just a really fun picture to look at, you know what I mean? So we're gonna add Red MD directly from our deck to our hand off Black Metal Dragon. Okay, we're gonna activate Skull Dread's effect, especially Red MD from our hand. And the really wonderful thing about this deck is that we can search Red Eyes Dragon's Metal directly from the deck, so we can special them in anything else off LP. So now we're gonna activate Red MD's ability, we are going to special on Black Metal Dragon from our Graveyard. And next we're going to do is we're going to link away these two into our Romulus right here. All right, Romulus is going to activate its effect. And also Black Metal Dragon is going to activate its effect. And these two cards are going to search one of the most key combo pieces directly for our deck. So we're going to search Dragon Reserve, And we're also going to search Red Eyes Fang with Chain. This serves as another interruption. And also at the same time, it's a trap card, which can actually help you play around Dark Ruler no more. So what is we're going to do next? We are going to activate Pissy's effect. Special Red Enemy from the Graveyard. Okay, cool. Okay, we're special Renity from the grave. Activate Renity's effect. Black Metal Dragon from our graveyard. And this is really crucial, okay guys? I already demonstrated you guys this combo before, but we are gonna activate World Legacy Guard Dragon to move the Red MD from this zone to this zone right here. So we're gonna move it right here. Link away the Skull Dread and also the Romulus into our Argapane. And then we're gonna activate Argapane's ability to special in hot red. We're gonna use these four dragons right here. They're all dark dragon type monsters. We're gonna link away these four. One, two, three, four. Dark metal, the dragon of dark steel. Okay, cool. And now we're gonna activate, of course, black metal dragon's ability. We are gonna search the last and final combo piece directly from our deck trash. So we're gonna search the Malefic Red Eyes B Dragon. Activate Dragon's Arena effect. We're gonna dump Red Eyes to the graveyard. And we're also gonna dump Tempest. We're gonna send Tempest 
Dragon Ruler of Storms directly from our deck to the graveyard. And now what we're going to do next is that we are going to Special Malefic Red Eyes B-Dragon from our hand by banishing Red Eyes B-Dragon from our deck. Special Malefic because we have a field spell on the field, okay? Now we're going to activate Darkest Metal of Steel, effect to Special Red Eyes back from the banished pile. Banish zone, Special and back Red Eyes. Exceeds these two away into our first Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, which is really nice. Attach Red Eyes B-Dragon, Special Red Eyes B-Dragon from the graveyard, really important. Okay, cool. And now we're going to Special and Tempest. We're going to banish uh, Romulus and we can banish Argypain. So with the two level 7s that we have on the field, we're going to overlay the Tempest and also the Red Eyes B-Dragon right here into our second Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. If this is not crazy, I don't know what it is, guys, but it's going to get crazier here. So if you guys haven't checked out the deck profile, I recommend you guys checking it out. So we're going to activate Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon again. We're going to detach Red Eyes B-Dragon. Target Red Eyes B-Dragon in our graveyard to special summon it to our side of the field. So make sure we special summon it to this zone right here. The zone that's the farthest. The reason why you special summon to this zone right here is because we're gonna use the World Chalice Guard Dragon to banish itself from the graveyard to special summon Red Eyes B Dragon to the zone that Darkest Metal, the Dark Steel is in, right? So we're gonna special summon to the zone. If we special that zone, we can't make three Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. So now what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna overlay the last two Red Eyes into the third and final Red Eyes Darkest Flare Metal Dragon. Oh my god! This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. As a nostalgic, old school Yu Gi Oh lover, watching Joey as a kid, this makes me happy, bro. This makes me so happy. Like, we got four Red Eyes on the field with a hot red, which is nice. So now we're gonna head into our end phase and see. So, we're gonna see what this guy is playing for a second. We're gonna see what he's playing. Do you see what I have to face? Every single time I hop on YG Pro. This is why that every single time I play YG Pro, everybody that wins uh, the Rock, Paper, Scissors, they force me first. They they are playing Dark Ruler No More, Nibiru, or Dimension Shifter in their main deck. To the ordinary eye, a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, Sam, like you, you, you lose. We are playing Red Eyes Fang with Chain. You guys don't know that I can't use monster effects in response to Dark Ruler No More, right? I cannot. But what I can respond is with a spell or with a trap card. So we're gonna activate Red Eyes Fang with Chain. We're gonna target one Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. So since my opponent has no response to Red Eyes Fang with Chain, I can activate Hot Red Dragon's effect to target the Dark Rune no more and negate it, okay? So that's how you guys play around Dark Rune no more with Hot Red, okay? And now our opponent is gonna lose 500. No, not 500, they're gonna lose 1500 for each card they activate. So let's see who they're playing. Let's see this. Go second striker? Are you kidding? Flare Metal Dragon? So he, if he excavates with area zero, he also loses 1500. No, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it, man. Yo, have everything you need, man. Oh my god, it's over. What's gonna happen, man? Why is this guy even... It's game, man. It's 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 done. Engage. You're gonna activate engage. This is actually oddly satisfying, but it's also really sad at the same time. Okay. <laughs> okay, we can go Fang with Chain. Target the Shizuku. Equip it to the red eyes. And we can just attack for game. Like, there's nothing he could do. It's done! Alright guys, so we're off to duel number two. I'm gonna demonstrate you guys the most powerful combo deck, in my opinion, in today's metagame right now, which is Pendulums. Pendulums is insane right now for the fact that they're actually able to play around the Biru and also play around Dark Rune no more like crazy. I just wanna show you guys right now how you can play around the Biru with Pendulum. So we're gonna activate Dragon Shrine first. Our hand is actually really, really broken. And the new way that you wanna play, it's Servant Turbo. Like you need to turbo all Servant as quickly as possible. And as long as you get access to Electrum, you have access to Servant. And that's what the deck is all about. So we're gonna normal summon uh, Curtain Razor. Okay, now we're just gonna link away these two for Electrum. We're gonna send Servant of Endymion to our extra deck. So we're gonna activate the scale, activate Electrum's effect, we had Servant of Endymion from our extra deck to our hand. So then now we already have access to Servant. And this is only using three summons, by the way, okay guys? We only use three summons. We're gonna activate Servant on Endymion. We're gonna go into the void. 
cool. Draw one card. Nice. Oh, we show into another negate, which is really good. We can activate terraforming to add Dragon Ravine directly from our deck to hand. Activate Dragon Ravine. This is at three counters. So now this is how you want to play Pendulum from now on, okay? You just try to get three counters on Servant before you Pendulum Summon, before you Guard Dragon combo. Servant is the way to go. It's Servant Trouble, man. It's it's the most correct way to play Pendulum. So we're gonna remove three counters from Servant. Specimen Jacko directly from the deck. Okay, and we're also going to special them in Servant and Demion under the zone that Electrum is in, okay? It's very important to special them into this zone right here, okay? So now there's a total of two counters on the field. So if our opponent does have a Nibiru or Dimension Shifter or any Hand Trap that tries to stop us from going to our Guard Dragon play, doesn't matter, Jackal can negate it. And the only thing that we're going to negate is Nibiru either way, right? So now we just activate Gate Zero. Okay, and then we can also activate the Chronograph Sorcerer. So now we have a complete scale. So we have the full card dragon combo. Huh? F this. What? What the heck? Pen. Pen one. Let me just save the replay. Pen one. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> People still be salty, man. Listen, this that's how you play around the rocky boy that's how you play man bring out jackal bring out jackal and you're good bring out jackal and then you're blessed you're pretty much blessed you're good you're good oh my god oh my god this video was fun this this is crazy ever since the mangaton release everyone's main decking this card in their main deck i've seen a lot of stride strikers main decking dark moon no more and i see a lot of like salads and you know even thunder dragons main decking this card as well which is absolutely crazy this card right here has so much impact on combo decks, combo decks are definitely hindered, but combo decks are not dead, okay? Combo decks are not dead. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. It'll be absolutely amazing. I had so much fun making this video, man. Let me tell you guys right now, man, as the format progresses, as the format tends to change, you can play whatever deck you want, but you have to adapt into today's metagame. If you're a combo deck player, make Appalosa before you, you go into your guard dragon play. If you're playing Pendulums, make Jackal first. If you're scared of Dark Rune No More, have cards to counter Dark Rune No More, right? There are so many different variations of cards you can use to counter those Megaton cards that you guys don't have to be worried about not playing your deck for 2019. Your deck is always playable but it's how you adapt with your deck in the format, right? And that's what you have to do right now. Players just need to think outside the box, play whatever deck that you think suits you best, and just have fun while you're playing with it. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you guys want to support me and what I do, make sure you guys get your play mats today in the link in the description box below. You guys are very awesome, man. I love you guys so much. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam. Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. One hour later. Okay. Target a dragon. Uh, link for Lambda. We're going to go Draco. Special in Draco into here. Let's get it. Okay. Wow. Let's go. Run it up. Yeah, run up the score. Run it up.